I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not! I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Tis here that the bodies of those... I beg you to conduct yourself with care. You are more than welcome. This way, Master! Many thanks. Follow me, if you would. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Oh, so I've learned. Might be predicament. I quite like it. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now, and use them when the need arises. Good day, sir. What might you be looking for? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. This ox I'll need to see some coin before I leave. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul shunning armor in all its forms. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. I'll carefully conserve my... We've little need for a campsite at present. Time spent camping isn't necessarily time wasted. Freshly rested as we are, this battle is going to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that rim go to waste. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe well and true. 
No doubt this triumph. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early dragon gets the world, as they say. Let me get that. Prepare yourself! Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. We are none of We managed to avoid the worst by some miracle. I am grateful for your aid. You must come visit us again, once she has recovered. Twas a near thing, but Miss Trisha is saved. Let us look in on her again in the coming days to see how she fares. By your leave. Our adventure continues. Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day. A new perspective. Over here, if you please. We have arrived. Oi. T'would seem I've you to thank for saving me as well as Gran. Who could have suspected things would happen as they did? T'was as though my very self was about to vanish. Gran said t'was because the magic within me is many times greater than tis within other people. She's going to teach me how to control my magic so it won't happen again. I can hardly wait. Oh, that reminds me. Keep this a secret from Gran. 
But when my magic was all out of control, I learned a sort of technique. I'll need to study hard if I'm to try it without exploding again. <laughs> to think the young lass bore such fearsome potential. This might surprise you, but I've already mastered a variety of magics. And since you've been so kind to me, I'd like to teach you a special one. Are you keen? You've been good to me, to us. I mean to teach you one of my techniques. I've every faith you'll use it wisely. Take this, with my blessing. Well. Pray, follow me. Do you wish for me to proceed? We won't be able to climb back up this slope once we've gone down. Master, my heart no. There's no greater peace than when I am by your side. you to refrain from charging off. Teamwork is not of our strategy. Don't be such a worry, Walt. I don't know what I'm doing. That was excellent. I could have done no better. It is a bit early to be thanking me. The enemy yet remains. Well said. Grant you an elemental food. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Back again, are you? I was hoping I could beg a favor of you. You, sir. Many thanks.
While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. A glad thing we rested when we We must not let down our guard. at its best. Indeed. It was enough to make one pity our foe. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. Time we pressed up. Many thanks. My thanks, sir. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. This ox... I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell us, her ties to this figure from the neighbouring country have a romantic tint. Go on then. Have you business with the Guild, sir? I should.
Be glad to assist you. Do come again. A fighter with sword and shield in hand is what I envision when I think of a leader. I suppose magically inclined vocations inspire a different sort of awe. Indeed. Some fear magic is a thing unknowable. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. I have no issue falling asleep. When I return from afar and see you anew, I get the sense... Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to come again. There's a ladder here. After you arisen.
I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. At least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom goes to waste. You have my protection! Would you care to behold a forgotten riftstone as yet un- Should you need to communicate in elf- One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Come on! Don't drag this out! <laughs> <laughs> Place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry.
Follow me, if you would. So this is to be our new home, eh? Not bad by half. We're here, Master. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? There's aught I would show you. I thought it was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust? Pray, light your lantern, Master. to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village... No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to, and let it be mine. Whatever trials we may face, I shall see this village and its people safely through them all. Troubles in the air here. I'll not... We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. I see our goal has changed. For bread and board. You'll find none better. Do stop by again. I've not much to offer you, sir. I've... We've naught to discuss. Sets me to th We've naught to discuss. Seems this old man was tired. Is <sighs> 
An impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. You have my support. shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these, if tis to be of use. We must take care not to throw it away by mistake. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I enjoy this work, though it takes its toll. Aye. Sigurd, you're the current arisen, aren't you? Tis a style, a patchwork of techniques. Aye. For so long as we are united in... To Hope to see you again. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Do come again! Interested? My wares? I happen to understand Elvish, Mum. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll go- Lair 
Bradley. Pleased to make your acquaintance. It was a fine journey we shared. Wherever ah, you're good. To. I see the Arisen's found someone to... This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. How do you fare? Say, would you be willing... ...to do me a favor? Thank you kindly. token Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Well, I strike, strike well, I
this thing is yours to wield. No harm shall come to you. Much obliged. Take time to cover. That was hard won. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, our wager. We should pick some now and use them when the need arises. My magics grant you an elemental boon. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put... Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what to find, but it might be something useful.
Would you mind coming over here? Is this way? a successful hunt. Approaching the capital always sets the mind at ease. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon me. I would be only too glad to assist. Over here, if you please. Shan't hear me.
Should we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Off we go then. Being rested, I try. Longed to it is an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Ready to forge on? much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your magic or shall change once we have attended the coronation if your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to it is best you do so before we depart very well the coronation is to take place on the morrow we shall depart early in the morn so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest My mind it commands me sways my very will sways your will could it be that the gods sway we must quit this place your majesty i fear our plans may fall to naught let us return to the tavern False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. Perchance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. You have my support. Proper rest. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. 
I hope you slept well. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Now to report to Captain Brown. Welcome to the st We serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. Welcome. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. Welcome. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Regarding the matter of the godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely there is aught to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Patal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beestrand merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. But alas, tis intended for a Beestrand. You shall have to act the part. But as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. You the Arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. On end. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. My apologies, sir, but as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through.
Beg pardon, sir. Captain Brandt bade me ask aught of you, if you would hear it. However, is a matter best kept from prying ears. Might we not move to a more discreet location? Firstly, pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword, one of the kingdom's treasures. Tis my duty to guard it. Yet, I have stolen it from the masquerade hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place. And I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden, lest the rules be discovered. Generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it, though not in battle, of course. Tis a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. Tis fractured, and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. I bid you good fortune. Seems well here. We can ne'er be sure. You are not permitted to be here. We have our sovereign, do we not? I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course.
Ah, good, you return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go then. I hope you slept well. But ox carts don't travel at night anymore. Monsters are apt to grow bold with the sun setting. This will seem of little consequence, but I find myself reflecting on the time I fell in battle. Dwell not on the past. Focus on the task that lies before you. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or oh, so I'd sworn. But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall, 
But I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do, save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. I don't imagine you'll find aught so long after the fact. And yet, when I look into your eyes, I find myself strangely hopeful. Still, I shan't grant you more than three days. You'd best be off. Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Do we know of anyone privy to the goings-on in the palace? All we know for sure is that we know nothing at all. That's something, eh? Right, just follow me. Do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective style. I enjoy tackling fierce foe. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? No progress as yet, then. Well... You wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah. But of course, 
Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. What must needs be done? I'm not risking my life for The sculptor's home is located. It is clear you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not! I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Just wander in here. You can't just wander. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Allard, long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. I'll teach him a lesson they won't soon forget. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Let us make for Minister Allard's estate and slip in once we've seen him leave. I can guide you there, if you wish. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Good. We're here. Solid piece of evidence.
Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Then it stands to reason that Captain Brandt would know of him. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, excellent find. So we've finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. You have my fullest confidence. To think that the proprietress of the Myrmacolian was plotting such a thing. Under normal circumstances, I would not overlook such a clear admission of murderous intent. But this is Allard we speak of. Of all the Queen Regent's sycophants, he possesses the greatest authority. His fall from grace would do much to further our cause. But where to find the evidence we seek? Perhaps the merchants he deals with possess aught that could serve us. Merchants with connections to Allard will reside in the Merchant Quarter. Though, they're not likely to divulge their secrets readily. Some piece of physical evidence would be far less easily refuted than mere testimony, I should think. Hmm. This is a memorandum of Allard's. According to this, Afore attaining his current status, he was in the employ of a merchant, and in order to claim the merchant's property as his own, he murdered the man and his wife, staging it as an accident. It is a grave affair indeed. Should this article prove genuine, I have every faith it would be sufficient to condemn him for all time. The deed was monstrous, and yet, considering my position, I am afraid I cannot condone the man's assassination. I know not the path I should follow. What is your intent going forward, Your Majesty? I beg your forgiveness, Your Majesty. It is my duty to protect our country's people, Allard included. Villain though we may be, I cannot stomach the thought of this vigilantism. It is not more than murder. I must wash my hands of this matter. Know that I shall not speak a word of this to anyone, but nor can I aid you. Forgive me, Your Majesty. It is a shame that you cannot count upon the captain's aid. You shall have to act with the greatest caution, Master. This? I did not expect. Crime committed here will see one confined to jail. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. 
Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? I enjoy this work. Keeps me on my stop by again soon. Need anything? Stop by again soon. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Welcome to Bjorn and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Looking for a craftsman? I'm a master of my trade. Hope to see you again. Hey? Got a blade? What needs fixing, do ya? Where'd you find this ancient thing? I can scarce see the steel for all this rust. But hold a moment. Isn't this a regalia sword? The state of it. Blades like this were near meant for battle, sure, but this one's been ill-treated. Uh, restoring an antique like this will prove nigh impossible, methinks. Although, there is one who might have the skill. A dwarf, Baron Batal, a living legend of the smithing trade. If anyone can do it, sir, I reckon tis he. So, a legendary blacksmith resides in Batal. It sounds as though he's our best bet for restoring the regalia sword. Well met, sir. How might I... Tis good to be busy. Work begets up. Do come again. Anything? I swear I've never slept better. What delights might there be to find in town today? Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I suppose all we can do is wait. Can't help. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well? Did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. <laughs> All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed. What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. I do not waste my time. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? 
you hang for this impudence. Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. Time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard, has something happened? We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then come, Master. I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. Did Lady Wilhelmina make good her escape? Mayhap, we ought to look in on her at the Murmur Code. I can guide you there if you wish. I am to you. I could feel death's hand at my throat, and that horrid abyss urging it to choke the life out of me. But owing to your aid, here I am, feeling myself again. Truly, sir, I cannot thank you enough. Good tidings, sir. A doctor has come, Sir Radcliffe. He's been tending to our patients, and I am thrilled to say that their condition is much improved. He's even instructed us on how to care for them properly. I am eternally grateful for his aid. We were in desperate need of guidance, you know. But when I told him as much, he said to save my thanks for you. I know not what transpired, but thank you, nevertheless. Though we have no doubt lost favor in the people's eyes, I shall strive to earn it back. I hoped you might make use of this. What to do? Appreciate it. Sir Arisen, I trust that pray see to it that naught akin to the recent. Got something for me? In the end, 
I suppose twas no less than my due. For me. Proper rest is an important. Tis a relief. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough, but I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. There's ought to be said.
Would you mind coming over here? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you arisen? What's this all about? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort. This ox cart. I'll need to see some coin before I let you. That's enough. Fine. Out of the let my magics grant you an <laughs> elemental boon. <laughs> Beyond any fun. There's always demand for weapons. Particularly but... near the... Order where
Quarrels occur every other day. Do come again? Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. The Sovereign's retinue makes to fail. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Take caution in the practice. I have a task for you, if you would oblige me. You have my gratitude. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but the pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. I hope never to experience the like of that sensation again. Would that ox carts were a bit safer. And a bit swifter, too. Well, we few other means of transport at our disposal.
I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that room go to waste. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Only <laughs> flip it gets the worm, as they say. alive seems I've drawn the short straw of course I wouldn't dream of complaining about it is all troubling you master you seem all right to me Oxen. Careful. Oxen are like to charge when angered. I pray my efforts aid your cause. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. our path forward. We'll have to find another route. Forgive me if I do not jump for joy. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. I grudge you, Isis, fight! 
Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are you there, Master! I've got this! Biased fury shan't be of aid against this mode! Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come. We've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. Bye.
some hearts in sight. Strike well. Exemplary performance. Indeed. It was enough to make one pity our foe. to it. I'll gather this. It might be of use. about you. It is broken. 
is a battle one, I suppose. Avoid training with any cost of it. You have been dumped in oil. from the beats as it breathed its last. Perhaps this will save you a little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One dismissed me after only half a day of service. Now there's a thought. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Cast the flames. The fort is too late.
a miss. Feast your eyes on this. Caught you. You'll be all right now. A short jaunt can quickly become a journey. Till before you know it, you're bruised up and all out of curatives. So that part passes the adventurous trade. This spell, we're powerful. Elemental magic.
against a formidable foe. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. An unlikely location for a path. <gasps> Mayhap it leads to a hidden hoard of treasure. I've a feeling tis best left untraveled. Am I... The only one? Watch out for the knackers, master! Ice is our ally against such fiends! a pin cushion. Never have I encountered such a strategy. Day grows darker with our every step. He is pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive.
feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go then. Shall we get underway? It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what you reap, and I shall harness it. You may be pitted against the dragon, yet its fate is yours to share. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force, though this does not mean that it is evil. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions and thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of a higher order, as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked ye, setting ye apart from your fellows. The Arisen is a transcendent being, always chosen by the dragon. It marks for itself the individual who must fell it. Thus, when the dragon is made manifest, so too is an arisen. And should that arisen fall, another shall rise in their place. The cycle is doomed to continue till the dragon is felled. For that is what the will of this world has ordained. I am the husk of he who was once arisen. My final battle against the dragon culminated in the loss of the will that should have seen me bring the creature low. Thus, as the Arisen is defined by the strength of their will, from that moment on I was Arisen no longer. Such is the world's will. I dare say it compels me e'en now to impart upon ye all the knowledge I possess. Ye need not seek the dragon. It 
will find ye. I make no mistake. The dragon will appear before ye when the time is come. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. Apparently, a dragon was sighted in Harv Village, though I am not sure I believe it after all. Now that ye have been marked as a risen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that e'en if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers did appear in that village, was no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power. And when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. The Godswain? Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batar came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. The Godswain. However, it appeared his intent was to alter... Then go. Since times of eld, dragon... Remember, draconic blood flows through the vein... ...of lesser... Then I bid ye farewell. Not by. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrill. With the port crystal placed, we'll be able to use a fairy stone to return here in an instant. If we are to break it, it shan't be from this side. Perhaps.
We'll never get anywhere if all we do is rest. It is well to be prepared, but over preparation will serve us not. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must wake! Me? Fort unawares? I would never be so careless. surpassed with skill considering the might of our combined experience what other on my way i never thought i'd see the day when i'd be in your debt have no fear everything will be all right Was careless arisen. Why give it its come up? Oh, my God. 
No harm shall come to you. No getting through this. Do you mind coming over here? This bridge has seen better days. Best not to stop. We can talk once we reach the far side. Our adventure continues. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? Traits mesh well together. Each of us is suited to a different task. Capable comrades are a good thing. There's no great shot.
are at your disposal. This place offers a view of the sea. I wonder what lies at its bottom.
So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmaster's borough in Bakbatar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you seek. Farewell. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. The current Empress may be young, but she's possessed of a devout heart. Her Majesty is wise too, and deeply compassionate. Oft decrying the discrimination of pawns in our society, pawns are hated as bringers of calamity. Frankly, I'm not sure I like the idea of their ill being treated as citizens. Yet, Her Majesty amended the law that punishes the use of slave labor, so that pawns are protected as well. Her tolerance and grace ne'er cease to amaze me. Back Patal is not a friendly place for pawns. Each gaze we encounter feels more unjustly vicious than the last. You there. Have you a home in Batal? If not, well, look no further. As it so happens, I've one to sell. Now, I've noticed you tend to travel with pawns. Bold choice here in Batal, where they're ill-loved. So I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? A wise decision, sir. Do be sure to read over the deed. Here you are, dear.
I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. You'll not believe the journey I've had. I'll wager my horizons are broader than ever. A good sleep does wonders. Off we go, then. Feeling rested, I trust. Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones. Carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. Those statues fetch the fine sum they did. I'm unsure how best to proceed. The roads grow perilous and the prices of goods soar. Is there no end to our misfortunes? Always a pleasure. Over here, if you please. Lord arm could use some work. What do you think you're doing here? Say, weren't we... No easy life, that. Have you seen the Empress's dance? The event bears some grand title, though I've... Her Majesty's Grace is a sight to behold. Hoy, looking to change... No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might. Well, got any finding... ...to share?
Many thanks. Good day to you. Look around if you must, but be sure to buy all. My services don't come cheap, mind. You're welcome. Just tell me what you... ...need. And I'll see it up again when you've more... C Me? Now, this hardly bears saying. But don't you... You dare try to take anything without paying for it.
for it first. Many thanks. Interested in my wares? Weary. What to do? Me? Now, this hardly bears. Saying, but do don't you always a pleasure? Behold the view. The entire landscape lies before us. Would that our strength might be restored simply by gazing upon the site. 